This doesn't need an intro. I just want to talk about this already. I'm excited, so let's just jump into it. All right, so I've been collecting dinosaur figures for about eight years now, and if you told me back then that in about eight years' time we would be getting an accurate, highly detailed, fully articulated, brightly colored, metallic, and borderline iridescent Medusa Ceratops figure, I would say you're crazy, you're a liar, and you need to go do the walk of shame. Like when you forget the key to the front door in Phasmophobia, but you go try to open the door anyway. That's a very specific joke that only a few of you are going to understand. There be ghosts in this house. Gonna open the door. Gonna... 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 Today we're taking a look at the brand new Beasts of the Mesozoic Fans Choice Medusa Ceratops. This is the sole time I have ever willingly purchased a repaint of something, and quickly purchased it at that. This thing is stunning, and is easily one of my absolute favorite things in my collection now. We already reviewed the regular version of this Medusa Ceratops with my friend Aiden last year, the regular version already being pretty close to the top of my favorites list for the entire Ceratopsian series, and I can say without question, this fan's choice version blows it out of the water for me. The sculpt here is identical to the previous version, the wonderful detail is all preserved just as beautifully, and that gorgeous head sculpt is still one of my favorites from the entire line. I just adore the subtle character to the horns. The shaping of them is really almost serpentine in nature, which is perfect for the Medusa Ceratops. The patterning on the horns this time is gorgeous as well. I adore the hypnotic patterns on the old version, but I will say these new markings feel a bit more natural to me. The colors on the horns remind me a bit of a Three Musketeers bar as well. Anyone else? Yes? No? Maybe I'm just really chocolate deprived right now? The coloration on this figure is based on the white-lipped python, and I'm really happy that David Silva included the white lips from it, with this gorgeous patterning on the face. Even though this thing is covered in bright metallic colors, the white on the face is the real beacon of the color scheme for me. It draws the eye to the head and contrasts the rest of the colors beautifully. And speaking of metallic colors, oh my goodness, oh my... Oh my, oh my goodness, it's so shiny! I love it! It's like a disco ball with legs! Then I'm gonna give you up, and then I'm gonna let you down, and then I'm gonna run around. The metallic colors on this thing are so pretty, and we have so many of them. We've got blue, we've got purple, we've got green, we've got this peachy one on the side. Yeah, and we've got straight up gold on the face, which really surprised me when I first saw it in person. I just can't get over how this thing has so many bright and flashy colors on it, yet they form such a cohesive and stunning color scheme. I think the tan underbelly really helps tie everything together. Oh, and I also want to bring quick attention to the red eye spots on the frill. I love the unique shaping to them, and they look awesome framed with the metallic blue against the black backdrop. Also, the green eye eyes are really nice as well. The articulation on this Medusa is the same as the old version. You have great range of motion in the head and neck. The jaw opens and closes. The limbs all move very smoothly but are still tight and stable enough to support a variety of poses. The tail moves and the body has great torso articulation as well. Look at that ab crunch. In case you're wondering how big this Medusa Ceratops is, it measures in at about 12 and a half inches long. Dimensions are going to change depending on the pose it's in. And for comparison, here's the BOTM Fans Choice Medusa Ceratops with the BOTM Utah Ceratops, which was the subject of our last BOTM review. Man, I really need to catch up on reviewing all the Ceratopsians I've bought. <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for today's review, guys. What do you think of this beautiful new shiny Ceratopsian? Let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching, take care, and bye bye Let's go hunt some ghosts. Gonna hunt some... There be ghosts in this house. Gonna open the door. Gonna... Gonna... Gonna...